Okay, today we are going to go over the uh, Module 2 SAM Project 1B. So we're going to start working here. We've already gotten in our SAM project. We've downloaded the instructions and printed them out. You can also download them and just look at them on the screen. And then we've also downloaded our start file. So our start file is right here. And what we're going to do is you would need to enable editing to get started. And then the very next step is to save the file. So file and then save as. And then you're supposed to change it to a two at the end. And click save. And now you have your file changed to number two. Um, now we're going to start on the project steps. It says Caleb Ramos is a manager in the accounts receivable department of Edgerton Norris, um, a pharmaceutical company in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Caleb has started to create an Excel worksheet or workbook to produce and track client invoices. He asked you to format the workbook to make the information clearer and easier to understand. So it says go to the invoice worksheet. You're going to change the name of the worksheet tab to current invoice. So we're going to right click the invoice, rename, change it to current invoice. In the middle, align the contents of cell A1 to improve the appearance of the worksheet title. So cell A1, click on it, and then we're going to middle align it. Don't get confused between center and middle align. Middle align is up and down. Center is left and right. Format the billing section to show that the information belongs together as follows. Okay. Uh, add outside borders to the range A2 to F4. A2 to F4. I want outside borders. Change the border color to green, accent four. Apply the short date number format uh, to F3. Date, and it wants the, uh, oh wait, hold on, short date. Short date. Go to the invoice tracker worksheet. Format the worksheet title and cell A1 to make it stand out as follows. So I'll click on cell A1. I want to change to Franklin Gothic medium. So I'll click here and then hit the F and then it should pull up all the Fs. Franklin Gothic medium. Change the point size to 18. I've changed the font color to white, black, ground one. Oh, font color, font color. Pull the worksheet title. Merge worksheet title across the range A1 to A11 to I11. I11, A1 to I11. It says merge. It doesn't say merge in center. It just says merge. Okay. 
And then number six says resize the width of column A and column B using auto fit to display all the text in one column. Resize the width of column A and B. Uh -huh. Step number seven, Caleb asks you to find any duplicate entries and then delete them. Respond to his request as follows. In the range A5 to A16, use conditional formatting to highlight sales rules. And then we're going to look duplicate values. And we're going to use light red fill with dark red text. Click OK, and it says delete the row containing the first duplicate value. So this is the first duplicate value. So it says delete the row. Let me just do it this way. Delete sheet row. Caleb wants to keep a running count of the invoices sent to clients. In cell B3, enter a formula that uses count A, B3. Count A function to count the values in range A. So insert my formulas. Insert a function. Count A. OK. The value range A5 to A16. A5. Whoops, A5 to A15. Okay. Caleb wants to display the, all the text in cell E4. So he wants you to change the column width to 9. Computer is taking long. I don't know what's going on with it. Let's see here, width of column E to 9. Wrap the contents of cell E4 to display on two lines. Apply the shading to ranges A2 to C3. Green accent three lighter. Are the theme colors. Green accent three. Lighter 80. And 
And cell A3. Increase the number of decimal places to two. Apply the 40% accent three cell style to range A4 to I4. Forty percent accent three. Apply a counting number format to D five to D fifteen. Caleb wants to know at a glance which invoices are for the most amounts. So in D five to D fifteen, which we already have selected, uh, it wants us to use conditional formatting. And it wants us to use data bars and gradient fill green. Gradient fill green. Caleb also wants to highlight the invoices that have not been paid. In range F5 to F15, he wants us to use a conditional format that will be equals to containing a cell value equal to let's see your conditional format highlight equal to and equal to in and it wants us to use light red fill dark red text light red fill dark red text and cell b17 wants us to put in the average of D5 to D15 wait, 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 wait average D5 to D15 D5 to D15 enter a maximum number auto sum maximum uh, D5 to D15 again and minimum invoice amount D5 to D15 and then it says check the spelling in the workbook to identify and correct any errors change the tab color of invoice tracker to green accent 3 so invoice trick green accent 3 Let's see here. Your worksheet should look like the final figures on the following pages. Let me look at the pages, but you should be done now. Current invoice. Invoice tracker. Make sure you save it and then upload it.